Yes. And then, and then, and then Pam in the back, in the gray. Yes. Yeah, so after, after her will be you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, thank you for taking my question. First of all, one quick statement I wanted to make about our housing crisis because you know, I, you know, here in New Valley, we're experiencing this almost on a weekly basis. Houses get bought by speculators. A house behind my 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 street goes up, you know, totally, you know, a dump for 1.5 million. Guess how much the speculator paid? 2.2. If we could actually stop the speculation, because no mom and pop, no you know, starter, you know, family, young family, you know, who scrape and they could pay 1.5 million could compete with that. It's impossible. So that's you know that's my statement to all the people here who are saying, well, we need more housing. Well, if you could cut off the speculation, that's a huge <laughs> step. In, you, you can laugh, but then you know, like you know, think about it. Think about it. So, so my next question to you is: a lot of my neighbors are asking about RH1, RH2 distinction, and where in your bill is going to allow you know more units being allotted into an RH1 home. I kind of thought the statement in the bill was exempting maximum density control. But that's pretty No, that's so it's, and, and I, I will say this is one of those, this bill is not always the easiest one to describe. And, and um, the whole thing about maximum, minimum, it's like, it's been really confusing. The, actually, the original reporting on the bill in the LA Times, we got them, I think we got them to fix it, reported that the bill will require sort of a minimum height be 45, 55, 55. Well, it's this zoning typically, not always, there is such a thing as minimum zoning heights, but that's very, very rare, and we don't have that in San Francisco. Um, uh, zoning is typically a maximum height. Your maximum height is 40 feet or 65 or you know, 300 feet, whatever it is, and then the building can be up to that height, but doesn't have to be uh, that height. So what um, the bill provides is when it says 45 or 55 or 85 feet, that that is what we call the minimum maximum. So it's still the maximum, uh, but it's the minimum maximum you can have. People can still build under it. Uh, someone can come forward, and this happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. In terms of the project, what they want to do, what has to, someone can come forward and say, I want to build a single family home. That's what I want. Or I want to build a three unit building. I don't want a, a bigger apartment. People may have many reasons for doing what they're going to do, or maybe the lot size, it just, that's what you know really makes sense. Uh, and so, uh, um, but but people will have that that choice. So that can you make like six units in an RH one? That's a specific question. Depending on the size of the lot and all sure. that. So at four, if you think about it, at forty five feet, right? Um, at forty five feet, that can be a, a, that can be a four story building. And right now, it's typically zoned. I believe the sunset. I think zoned at forty feet. Um, so right now, in this, and forty five. The reason you add five on that's actually. More modern zoning always adds five feet on because for the ground floor you might want it to be a little bit taller. It's just it's better architecturally. Um, so 45 feet, the same as 40 feet, it's four stories up to. Uh, and depending on the size of the lot, you know, you know I, I, when my first seven years I lived here, I lived in the Castro at, on uh, Collingwood Street. It was a um, four-story building, so it's probably at 40 feet, uh, and it was sort of ground floor with nothing, and then um, three stories, and each had two units, so it was a six-unit building. So that's what we're talking about, those kind of six, maybe eight, ten, so uh, those smaller kinds of apartments. Thank you. Yeah. 